Hi there and welcome to a new Plugin Guru Quickie video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. This is Quickie video number nine. And we're gonna be looking at a new plugin called LFO Tool, which comes out from x for Records. It came out last week. Um, x for Records is a website and a record label and a sample library and you know, a plugin website um, that's owned both by uh, the, the programmer named Steve Duda and Dead Mouse's Joel Zimmerman. So the two of them have some very cool products. They've got another thing called Nerve. It's it's a very deep plugin for um, for production of rhythm. So you gotta check it. Actually, it does more than rhythm. But um, quickly, this video is produced by PluginGuru.com, which is my website where I sell patches. I've got patches for Massive for Native Instruments FM8. I've got the Power Pack for Stylus RMX. Um, and I'm working on a power pack for Absinthe 5. Um, in fact, do, 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 April 15th, um, the library will be available. Anyway, we're looking at LFO Tool. And if you're seeing this in the next four days, there's a way to get this plugin, which is normally $25 for $10. The way you do that is you go to beatport.com and you look for Steve Duda. You put search for Steve Duda in the corner. Find his little um, EP that just came out called Fish. And there's four tracks. It's $9.97. And if you buy that and send the receipt to Steve at xforrecords.com, he will send you a free link to get um, LFO Tool for free because you bought his EP. So he wants to sell his EP, which is a great, great tie in the promotion. Why not, right? So if you do that, you've uh, got the ability to get this plugin for $10. And even if you don't get this plugin for $10, you've got to get this plugin. I, I, Watch. Let me show you what you can do. Um, the other thing I want to show you real quickly. Uh, let's hide all this stuff. I want to show you some new patches. I'm working on patches for Absinthe 5. And I'm really excited. Now, generally when we talk about Absinthe, the first thing that people think about because of its uh, lineage and kind of its history is it's going to be kind of spacey out there. Kind of, you know. These are factory patches. This is the factory patches that comes with it. So... cool stuff but for a lot of dancey kind of things okay well my power pack which is right here in the works <clears throat> there's 120 patches so far I'm not done I've got more to do in fact we're gonna be doing a quickie video pretty soon where we'll make a patch together so you can see what we do how we do it um, <laughs> this it could do some cool things <laughs> Show you a couple other cool patches. Um, just go for the. You could do the basic bases. And um, it's also got the ability to load samples. So I've got some samples that I've loaded in there. Things like a. That's a sample from Camel Audio's Alchemy, which can do basically like a hundred voices oscillators all at one time so I made a thing you, you it's only a single sample across the whole keyboard so it's kind of limited for samples but things like that you can uh, you can get away with anyway there's a ton of patches I'll show you all these all later but for what we're doing right now I want to call up the bass and I've got a little track because the whole goal of this is to show you how to use LFO tool and what it can do so I have a track and of course you start with with drums and so we've got a Oh. Got drums. Now you'll notice I'm gonna solo so you don't hear my voice for a second. That is a single track doing the kick, snare, and the hat. And normally when you do that, if you're gonna start getting into the production of this later on for it to be if you're doing serious production, you wanna have the kick on its own separate channel so you can send it to a side chain. So that your compressor on your bass and pads and stuff, 
you can go to the sign chain input and have that kick bring down the level of the bass because you can't have a huge synth bass and a huge kick drum hitting at the same time or else it just overloads your dynamic range and and you're out of out of luck at that point so um one of the cool things with lfo tool what lfo tool can do is it's the ability to create waveforms and this is a really cool one. we'll show you this one in a minute i'm going to go to the side chain because this is kind of the standard what you want see this ducking right here Watch, when we have this playing and we have the drums playing, and I'm going to mute the synth for now. Here's without it. Just, just with. It ducks it. And there's different presets you can... key to making this work there's two keys that make this thing so killer the dsp shapes and the ability to control curvature for each of the segments when you just click and drag in the middle node and the fact that the filter kicks ass i mean it seriously sounds great bring up the resonance a little bit the interface is like this you have up to 12. I don't know why you have 12. I think maybe he's going to have some future something come out that needs 12 LFOs. Don't need that many because you only have four possible rigging sources. You have cutoff, resonance, volume, and pan. And if you click here, you're changing. So now we're changing the panning. And it shows you really nicely here how everything works. Let's see. Here's your custom curves. There's all sorts of preset curves for calling it just. Smooth, take it down to zero. You got a nice click, but if you bring it up smooth, click goes away. If you turn off anchor, now you can. Anyway, so I could get carried away showing you that forever. I'm going to go to the Transgate. This is like your uh, presets that you find inside of the Access Virus. So if you pull this up. So this took the straight. Done. Here's your cool groove, man. Now let's take our pad. Another pad by Absinthe, by the way, um, using samples as well as synthesis in Absinthe. Um, this is another one of the Power Pack pads. Um, oh, we don't need to show you that. So go away. So what we're going to show on here is um, turn on LFO tool, call it up, and here's bypassed, so you can hear where we've got to start with. Turn it on. such a you, this is one of those things you just have to have in your toolkit you need to be able to control motion you can do wobbles for uh, dubstep kind of things you can do all the trancy kind of things you can do the side chaining to get the, the the bass to not be in the way of the kick drum on downbeats 
um, all from this one plugin with a really great groovy interface. You, you double click and you're adding segments and you hold down command and double click and they go away. So it's really easy. There's a snap for what kind of a grid in the background things are going to snap to so that you can have things move around and, and control. Timing wise, you can get into complete surgery if you want. So it's a no brainer. Got to get it. And if you get it in the next four days, you get it for 10 bucks instead of 25 bucks. Either way, it's a no brainer. Get it. All right. All right. Um, I've got a Guru Quickie video I want to do on Razer for Native Instruments, which is killer. Really cool sounds. And we're going to make a patch for Absinthe, um, probably closer to the release date of the library, which is um, April 15th. So come back again soon. See you later. Bye.